So we've looked at how we could use circular references to solve simultaneous equations, but another method, which is easier, although it uses more complicated functions, is to use matrices. So if we remember our two equations were 80x plus 150y is equal to 3.5, and 52x plus 100y is equal to 2.3, and we want to solve for x and y. What we can do is we can rewrite this equation in the form of a matrix. So here we have a 2 by 2 matrix, 80, which is our x value, 150 our y value, that's the first equation, 52 x value, 100 y value, that's our second equation. This is called a coefficient matrix because it contains the coefficients of the unknowns. What we want to do then is solve this matrix for x and y, solve this equation for x and y. So I rearrange the equation, so I've got 3.5 and 2.3 on the right hand side. This will be multiplied by the inverse of this matrix. So what we want to do is get Excel to do this calculation. So I want to solve for x and y. So this is where I'm going to have my solution. So I highlight both cells and type in the formula equals to m mult. This is the Excel formula for multiplying two matrices. I want the inverse of this matrix, so I type in m inverse. That's the formula for getting the inverse of a matrix. Highlight my uh, matrix array. That's my first matrix. And then I want to multiply that by this. So I highlight these cells. And then I don't press return because I want to solve both of these at the same time. So I press control shift return and it gives me my two values. So it's a very simple way of solving simultaneous equations once you remember these two formula. And the beauty of this is you're not limited to two simultaneous equations. You can have as many simultaneous equations as you like.